All right, guys, on this video, I'm going to be choosing the winner for the giveaway since the other person never re responded. So turn on your notification bells and um, subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment. And um, I'm going to be choosing the winner um, tomorrow, which is Saturday. I think it's going to be the 16th. All right, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to install a trunk spoiler on this 23 Sport. We're going to be taking up the OEM one and replacing it with a high kick uh, R type or R style one. Matt is gonna do this installation. I'm only gonna be recording it. All right, so right here we got the OEM trunk spoiler is gonna be taken off and we'll be replaced with a aftermarket one. So the first thing we're gonna do is um, we're gonna um, Take off all these push pins here, and then we're gonna see what do you need to do to take off this. So that's his trunk set up right there. Simple. Turn around. There you go. So let's 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 put this one on top of yours to see what it looks like. It, I'm pretty sure it's gonna cover the holes. Yeah, easy. All right. Okay. All right, so let's get to remove that one. And then this one. And then after, you know, these little clips, these ones, you know, you know like push them in from the side. From one side, you're gonna push them in like this, and then pop out. I think there's one way in the corner on the left and the right side. That's the one that you, kind of difficult to reach to, but we'll get it. All right, Matt. Do you remove this one? Remove the other side. Sure. Okay. Okay. Let's see if it Okay, good. So now, yeah. once you get that corner one, and and then now you can move on to the rest of the ones that you have right here. You have one right there, two, three, four, five, and the, the one from the right side. So what he did is, uh, he put like uh, something to put a little bit of tension on the trunk spoiler, and then that way when you push the little, little clips, you're gonna push them from one side and then from the other side. And then it pops out. That's glue. So what was holding it right there? The corner? Super. Oh, okay. That clip. The nut. Okay. It's off. So we're good to go. We got all these holes right here that the trunk spoiler has to cover. So what we're gonna do is just clean it up really good and then start the next step. Clean the surface and you're ready to install the new one. Right now we're gonna do a quick test fit to see if it properly uh, covers the holes and then after tape the, the part. On this part, when we tape it, we're gonna tape it right along the edge, like really close to the edge, cause it had like a little, we're gonna do it right against the edge all the way around. He actually bought um, some other tape because he didn't like the one they comes with. 
He bought this tape. This is the tape it comes with, so he's gonna be installing this. Okay, quick test fit. As you can see, it covers all the holes. This one's available at Custom Tunings on eBay. I'll put the link in the description. So this one's for the 11th Gen, 2023, 24, or 23 plus Accord Hybrid. It doesn't matter what, what model it is. So what he did here, he put double-sided tape through the inside. And then these ones, he did it through the outside because he couldn't reach them. Just in case we get some water penetration in the inside. So he just did it like that. Just an extra security of any water seeping in through the trunk spoiler. So now we're gonna get to the taping of the trunk spoiler. What we did here, we just taped and then cut, taped. That way um, we get as close as we can. So on this one, we didn't go all the way to the edge because we we're filling it right here and it feels like this uh, Gorilla tape is a little bit thicker than the edge. So even if you put it on the inside of the edge, it's still, it's still higher than the edge. So you should be okay. Yeah, cut it. So what we're gonna do here, we're gonna put one right here. And we'll try to, one, two pieces, three pieces. So we just put it on. It's and then um, make sure the tapes are out, like the ones we hold. They're out, and then, so, you got them all out? Okay. Which way are they going though? Are they going to, towards you or towards which way? This one's this way. Okay, these two are gonna go this way, right? Okay. These all right. So, you just put it on, just, and then um, make sure the tapes are out, like the ones we hold. They're out. And then, so, you got them all out? Okay. Which way are they going though? Are they going to, towards you or towards which way? This one's this way. Okay, these two are gonna go this way, right? Okay. These ones? Okay. This one's going this way, this one's going this way. You sure this one? Okay. Let's just set it right there, kind of center it on your side. It's gonna be, be at the edge of the, Right up there. How do we look over there? Yeah. This is too yeah. much. Yeah. Is it right at the edge? Don't push down on it. Just set it. Yeah. Just come. That can go a little, a little bit more if it's overlapping. Yes, it's okay. It's fine. I'm not stuck on it here. Right. This corner is good? Oh, that's good. It's a little bit overlapping. This one needs more this way. Right there, right there. So after that, just put your liner back in and you're done. Right now we'll get some look, some looks at the, how it came out.